Hello, my name is Frank Everett, and welcome to Frank's Files. Welcome once again to Sotheby's Jewels. Yes, it's my favorite time of the year. We are preparing for Sotheby's sale of magnificent jewels here in New York City on December 7th. I cannot wait to show you what our treasure hunt has uncovered. Rarity is what this collection is all about. We're gonna start by acknowledging the 100 year anniversary of the discovery of King Tut's tomb. This set off what we call Egyptomania in the world of design, but it actually can go back into the 19th century before the Art Deco period. So what's important to remember about Egyptian revival jewels from any period is these were not replicas of Egyptian jewels. These were just taking inspiration from the jewels of Egypt, the color palette, the materials, the motifs. This necklace is absolutely one of a kind, rare museum piece. It's made by Castellani, the great Roman jeweler. This piece is from 1860, absolutely gorgeous design, incorporating ancient scarabs, and then this incredible micro mosaic using the wonderful color palettes inspired by Egypt. This one, also by Castellani, incorporates a very rare ancient faience scarab. Now we're gonna move into the 20th century, we have to go to LCT. That's Lewis Comfort Tiffany. This gorgeous necklace, lapis, turquoise, and beautiful gold work. It's so rare to find a Lewis Comfort Tiffany piece of Egyptian revival jewelry. We're thrilled to have this piece in the sale. Now, a few more years in advance, we get to King Tut's tomb and the discovery in 1922. The jewelry was looking very different at this time. Let's go to Paris, Le Cloche Frere, one of the most respected houses in France. They created a spectacular pictorial bracelet. You see Pharaoh in the center. On either side, you have the winged sun and some royal scepters. And then over here, two panels depicting the goddess Nekbet. It's a wonderful piece, and we also happen to have a pair of earrings by Le Cloche. I think I've only seen one other pair of Egyptian revival earrings ever. All right, so moving on from the Art Deco period, let's go, oh, I don't know, 15 years in the future. We have a wonderful selection of mystery set jewels by Van Cleef. This ruby bracelet couldn't be more flexible. Absolutely gorgeous. A sapphire version as well. There's a really nice cuff bracelet here. Rubies and diamonds. This is a more modern version. I absolutely love this mystery set ring. Beautiful mystery set sapphire centering an almost five carat emerald cut diamond. That is simple, elegant, and chic. Now I'm just gonna show you a couple of my quick favorites. I really love these swans by Graf. Wonderful double clip brooch that comes apart into two. I have to say, this ring is one of the most modern, chic, and elegant jewels I've ever seen. This is a 10 plus carat fancy gray diamond mounted by Hemmerle in Munich. And if you haven't seen something on this table that makes you happy, I have one more amazing lot in the sale. The Golden Canary Diamond is the largest internally flawless diamond ever graded by the GIA. It's over 303 carats, fancy, deep, brownish yellow diamond, pear-shaped. It is absolutely incredible. It's been exhibited both at the Smithsonian and at the Museum of Natural History, and it will be really exciting to see what lucky collector adds this to their collection. So I hope you can come see us. Our exhibition opens on the 30th of November, and the sale will take place on December 7th, and I can't wait to show you these and many, many other fabulous treasures. Thank you so much.